successful because of strong women that have gone before us. To those women, I am grateful. To the women that I stand shoulder to shoulder with today, I am emboldened by. And to the women on the rise, I am so inspired. My name is Sophia McGill. My name is Yolanda Sanders. My name is Morgan Fritz. I'm Caroline Hayes. I'm Cheryl Lounsbury. My name is Anna Olson. Yeah, I'm Beata Schmidtman. Hey, my name is Aliana Crabb. My name is Dr. Toya Younger, and I'm the Senior Vice President for Student Affairs, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm proud to be serving in a strong ISU administration, which consists of mostly women. You didn't see this type of representation 10 or 15 years ago. Being a leader at Iowa State University as a woman is really a source of strength for me. It's about being a part of a community. It's about taking action and it's about gaining wisdom. There are so many other women leaders around campus that I don't really have to think about being a woman leader. I can just think about being a leader in general. It helps other young women to know that they are not outliers. It's so wonderful to see the empowered women in the food court, in catering, in the student organizations, and all the people that we deal with here at Iowa State, and I'm very happy to be part of this coalition. Women empowerment here at Iowa State allows us to work together, support each other through all stages of life. We're a multi-generational campus, and so women that support each other to achieve their goals and their dreams is uh, an important part of empowering each other uh, throughout these journeys that we take. Amplify each other. Many of us have had the experience of going to a meeting and uh, having a woman make a suggestion and the suggestion goes unnoticed and then someone else, often a man, picks it up a little later and then suddenly you know, it becomes a topic of discussion. So amplify each other. When, so when a woman makes a suggestion you can just say, well that's really interesting or that's really intriguing, we should discuss that. Being a woman at Iowa State is really awesome because there are so many resources that we uh, get as students on campus. It's really exciting to learn about those resources and see how our faculty and administration is actually trying to help us. So Iowa State has such a rich history of women's empowerment and you know we've had alumni really lead the way in women's suffrage. We've had the first female senator from Iowa and the first female governor of Iowa you know both attend Iowa State and so there really is a tradition of women from our university paving the way for you know our state and country. One challenge I hear over and over from women is not being heard or feeling as though they're valued. I can use my position and my experience as a woman to help elevate their voices and provide platforms to be heard. Women's Week is an excellent space where women can come together to motivate each other, address our obstacles, and build skills that will help support us in the future. Women equality to me is knowing that a young girl one day can grow up with goals and dreams and know that she can accomplish those aspirations without the constraints on the basis of her sex. And that is what this conference is all about.